J back with another video. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up if you like it. And yeah, we're gonna get right into the video. As you can tell by the title, today's video is gonna be a pamper routine. This is just some things that I'll be wanting to do what I'm trying to unwind, you know, and relax. So I checked out my last video, which was the hygiene shopping. Today's video is gonna feature a couple of those products, some new products that I picked up. And yeah, let's get into it. All right, y'all, so we have to start this pamper routine off right by lighting a good candle. This one here is from Bath & Body Works. It's called Apple Macchiato. Perfect, perfect apple cinnamony smell. It's my favorite. Then I'm going to get my iPad so I can play my favorite playlist. Personally, I love listening to my old R&B, my throw bikes, to get the mood right. You know what I'm saying? Now we're going to come in and remove my makeup. It's been a really, really long day today, y'all. I'm going to start off by tying my hair back, and I'm going to go in with these Neutrogena makeup wipes. Um, I got these in my Target haul, if you guys watched that video, but they work wonders. I generally only use one wipe, maybe two, depending on the day, but I try to just use one wipe so I can save them because I go in and I wipe my face off again with something else anyways which is coming up here in a second. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this alcohol. A lot of people would probably advise against this, but it's what works for me. I've been doing this for years, actually. Um, and it just gets off every little thing. As you see, it's really strong. And I got it in my eye, so I probably wouldn't advise you to do this either. But if you're careful, it works great. Now, I'm just going to tie my hair up in a bun, and we're going to get ready to do the rest of our routine, shower, and everything else. So, putting it in a bun, plus it's coming down tomorrow anyway, so I don't really care about it that much to put it in a shower cap. <laughs> All right, now for our shower routine. This particular routine is strictly for when I want to pamper. These are some products that I use. First, we're going in with our Dr. Bronner's. Y'all already know, this is my holy grail. Today, I'm using the lavender. It's real calming. Getting it on my loofah, and I cleanse my body off with that first, just to get it real clean. Then, I follow up with my lavender dove. Again, y'all know I love dove. And here it is again, just lathering up. It's such a good, good lather, y'all. Mm and washing again and then i'm going to end up shaving my body i didn't show that but i used this dr teal's lavender salt scrub it's not a sugar scrub it's a salt scrub um to scrub my whole body and then i just removed all of the hair so i could feel like a little bitty baby and finally i'm going to wash my private areas with this dr bronner's baby unscented soap <laughs> To the next portion of our bath time i'm going to get in the bubble bath using this dr teal sleep bath it has lavender and melatonin in it so it's really really common and it feels really great on the skin um i brought my candle down here and i brought my ipad so i can watch some tv because i'm gonna be in here for a good good second one of my comfort shows is the freaking parkers and i'm gonna put that on because i've watched it about 10 times y'all but I'm going to keep watching it because it's it's just funny no matter how many times I watch it. And I'm going to sit back, relax, and of course, get in the tub. I did end up falling asleep in here, <laughs> fun fact. But I ride out and now we're moving on. The next portion of my team is to moisturize. I'm going to go in with this lavender aromatherapy lotion that I got from Bath & Body Works a while back. It smells really good and it's pretty moisturizing. So, you know, we're just keeping up with the lavender smelling things. Then I'm going to top that off with some lavender essential oil some body oils that was made by my mom it has some bronze um colored flakes in it or whatever and it makes you shine and it makes you smell so good i'm gonna give y'all a close-up here we go look at that stay tuned y'all for my mama drops her brand she got all the good stuff i'm telling you like you, you ain't gonna regret it put on my favorite robe that my stepmom gave me and we're moving on to the next part 
this is one of my favorite parts about my pamp routine. I love, love, love a good face mask. I'm going to use that Aztec healing clay, some turmeric, and my apple cider vinegar, mixing that together in the bowl to make me a face mask. Now here you see I kind of made it a little bit chunky, so I had to add some more apple cider vinegar, stir that up, and then I made it too watery. It's just constant trial and error when I'm making this mask because I don't follow any measurements, but I just keep adding and adding and adding until I get it right to the consistency that I like, which is this, and then I just apply it on my face. I kind of like the way that it smells. Some people say it stinks, but I don't know. Like... I like weird smells like apple cider vinegar just smells oddly good to me I don't know but I'm gonna apply this mask all over my face and I'm gonna be honest y'all I said leave it on for 20 minutes but sometimes I leave this on for 30 so here we are I'm finna get ready to wash it it's been 30 I think actually 45 minutes later but I washed it off and now my face feels oh so smooth and I'm going to finish my face routine starting with this vitamin C serum from Advanced Clinicals. I put that all over my face and I smack my face. Whenever I'm putting a serum on y'all, I just smack my face. I don't rub it in because it just doesn't feel right when I rub it in. So I have to, you know, look. And get, there we go. Pat, 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 pat. Then I'm going in with this dark spot corrector. I don't even know what it's called. I know I'm looking at it, but... <laughs> I'm just doing the voiceover. My mama gave this to me, and again, I'm smacking it in, and it feels great, and it works great. And this is my holy grail, my naughty Nola. I get this from the beauty supply. And it's just another dark spot corrector. I don't put that much on, um, but I rub this in, and it smells great, and it works great for my skin. And to finish it off, I'm going to use everyone's favorite product the CeraVe healing ointment I started off using this for my tattoo and then I used it for my face and I just learned that it just it works really well and it's really moisturizing so then I started using it and now look it's all over TikTok so go get it y'all it works great and this is just a close-up on my skin definitely not perfect but we get in there now of course you know we gotta wash our mouth out let's brush them teeth people okay um, same products that I bought in the hygiene haul. Yeah, I'm going to keep referring to it. Cleaning my tongue, cleaning my teeth, and using that mouthwash so I can have a fresh, fresh minty mouth when I get in the bed. Speaking of bedtime, here are my PJs. Ooh, yeah, and then my undergarments. I have this purple PJ set that I got from Kohl's a couple years ago. It's a little tight, <laughs> but we're going to make it work. This perfume I got from Pink a while ago that is pretty much empty at this point, but it smells so good. It smells really vanilla-ish, you know, cute. And I'm going to end my night off with this back massager. This is my mom's, but I also got one from my boyfriend, and I think it works pretty, pretty great. I look like I just dipped my face in a hot pan of grease, but it's okay, because I'm going to look good. <laughs> Turning on my TV, I go straight to Tubi so I can watch one of my favorite movies, Honey, and I'm going to call it a night. I'm relaxed, I smell good, and I look good. That concludes today's video, guys. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments, and I'll see y'all in the next one.